the star of the original series and executive producer of the reboot, LeVar Burton, discusses his take on the original series with Malachi Kirby, who is taking over the powerful role of Kunta Kinte. And Jeremy sat down with three cast members from the new series to get their take on stepping into these iconic roles. Take a look. This is a big thing to step into. How excited were you when you realized this is what you're going to be a part of? We'll go down the line. <laughs> well, excited wasn't the word. I was anxious. I was scared. I was like, why did they pick me? <laughs> you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> um, the excitement still hasn't kicked in, to be honest. It was more of a um, responsibility. They can put the chains on your body. Never let them put the chains on your mind. I felt a weight of responsibility with this role, especially because I'd seen the first one um, and I was so impacted by it. I'd only seen it maybe two hours, two, two hours, two years previous. Sure. Um, and so it was more the weight of responsibility to tell this story and tell it right. Did you guys have that same sort of sensibility, that this feeling of like, man, the weight of it, you knew what it was and now you've got to kind of carry the, yeah. the banner on? Or the reality, the when you get that call to say your flight is in the morning to New Orleans, and you have, I had that moment in the hallway of my apartment where I was thinking, okay, <laughs> it just got real. Yeah. And there's there's a huge responsibility to honor the ancestry, the ancestral line of the people that we represent in the story. And mm -hmm. not just the ancestry, but the kind of the people who are alive today who this means such a huge amount yeah. to. Because yeah. people ask, like, is your mother proud? It's like, my mother was appalled mm -hmm. that they're giving this important thing to her idiot child. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. The like, your mom's just keeping it real. Yeah, my mom's <laughs> keeping it really real. And so my first priority is to make her proud mm -hmm. and everyone in her generation proud mm -hmm. and not get my butt kicked for not doing that. Hello, my name is Erica Tazel, and I am in the History Channel event series Roots, and this is One Last Thing. The last time I was starstruck was last night. I have been stalking Cynthia Urbio, who plays Celie in the Broadway production of The Color Purple, and I saw her last night. My last splurge happened um, right before we wrapped the production, or I wrapped up the production of Roots. There's an art, great art gallery um, down in the French Quarters. And there was a particular artist that the curator kept pushing me towards, but I was interested in some paintings that were on this wall. And because she was hard selling me so hard on the other artists, I decided to buy all of the paintings of the, of the artists that she was ignoring. The last concert I attended was Earth, Wind and Fire at the Hollywood Bowl. Good times, <laughs> lots of sangria. Hi, I'm Malachi Kirby from History Channel's event series Roots, and this is One Last Thing. The last time I was inspired was last night. I arrived in New York for the first time. I looked around the city while I was in the cab, and all I could see was Spider-Man swinging around the city blocks and King Kong climbing up one of them. Um, and when I got to my hotel room, I couldn't sleep because I kept imagining a huge eye because Godzilla felt like was someone outside. And so basically, I've watched too many movies. My last indulgence was apple pie. I finished roots, I wrapped, I didn't have to worry about my weight or my six pack, hopefully, which is <laughs> showing up on camera, because um, I was supposed to be playing this Mandinka warrior, he's very much in shape all the time. Um, and I had a particular kind of diet, so as soon as we finished, the first thing I'd done was return to my first love after God, which was apple pie, and we had a good time. Good private time. Hi, my name is Rege Jean Page from History's Roots, and this is One Last Thing. The last time I was starstruck was approximately about 30 seconds ago sitting next to Erica Tazel. Happens every time, hasn't stopped happening since I met her. There's nothing I can really do about it, but it's not a bad feeling. The last show I binge watched was Mr. Robot. Um, one of my friends introduced it to me uh, by mistake. I kind of caught about five minutes and then lost an entire day to the series. It just sucks you right in. Um, and I had no defense. My last indulgence is incredibly dull. It was last night in the hotel. I finally caved and I got the M&Ms out of the mini bar. And I've been telling myself for weeks it wasn't gonna happen, just out of principle. You know, I don't pay double price for M&Ms, but when the chocolate craving hits, it hits. I was weak.